Hey guys, I know I normally share any kind of grocery haul on Tuesdays. However, this one's not really a grocery haul. This is a Costco haul by the title and the thumbnail. However, I only got like a handful of food items. It's mainly a non-food. We do like to get our dog food from Costco and we just ran out last night. So I had to get to Costco to get the puppy food and then my husband and I were talking and we decided not to renew our Costco membership. I don't know if we can like cancel it before it expires or, or if we just have to wait for it to expire. So we'll see. But this is going to be not only the last Costco haul that I share with you guys for 2021, but the last Costco haul. I don't want to say ever because who knows if we renew. But as of right now, we have decided to not renew whenever it expires. So this should be the last one for ever or a very long time at that. I'm also pretty shiny because yes, I'm a little sweaty. It is uh, late December, almost January, and it is a nice 78 degrees outside, and I did go by myself, so I had to bring all of this in. I had to shop, load it in the car, and bring it all of it, all of it in. So I got myself a nice little uh, heartbeat going, and yeah, so I will not be popping up prices. I am super sorry, but this is actually like real time. I'm going, I'm filming, I'm editing, I'm sharing with you guys. So this is what I look today. Hello, how are you? All right, so let me show you guys the last, I, the last few items that I picked up from Costco. Okay, so here's the overview, and I will try to tell you the price as I'm going over it, if I can find it quick enough. But my grand total is $4.81 and two pennies. So we'll start with this because then I'm going to move it out of the way, but I did get some toilet paper and we like the Charmin, it's our favorite brand. There's 30 jumbo rolls in there and we picked up the Ultra Soft and it was $23.99. Okay, now we'll go to this big, huge Squishmallow. So my oldest daughter Paige loves Squishmallows. I don't know what it is about these things. I mean, she's 17. I, you guys tell me, do you have older like teens that love these things? I know a lot of the younger kids do. My girls, Rose and Pearl, they're nine. They're not really, they don't really care, you know, that much. So I, I don't know what it is about them, but the big ones are really hard to find. They had a heat, like they just got a shipment in or something. They had a huge bin full of them. They had four different kinds. So I sent a picture to Paige and I was like, hey, do you want one of these? And she goes, OMG, yes, please. <laughs> so I got the dragon for her. And oh, it says right here it's 24 inches and it was $29.99. So she is very excited about that. And then we'll come down here. A lot of their toys, not all of them, but a good handful were marked down. So I don't know if this was the original price, but you can see here it's $33.99. So I did pick it up because my son Bryce is absolutely obsessed with Pokemon. He has several friends that play it. So he obviously collects the cards and all of that. He got a lot for Christmas as well, but his birthday is January 19th. So just a few weeks away and I went ahead and picked this up. So it says three pack. It has two of these balls, a blue one and a red one. I, I know nothing about Pokemon other than what he has shown me. It has Eevee all over it. So there's three different Eevee cards and then this tin and all three of them say trading card game. And let's see, it says packed with Pokemon treasures, three foil cards. I'm not even gonna say their names, five Pokemon TCG booster packs and much more. So hopefully he is, well, I know he's going to be very excited about that. Then coming down here, if you guys watched my, well, I actually don't remember what video I mentioned it in. I think it was a meal prep video, but I only have one pan that like makes cupcake size. And when I'm doing like meal prep or I'm baking a whole lot during the holidays, it would really be nice to have more. So this is a two pack I'm actually gonna get rid of or donate my other one since these are nicer, fresher and cleaner. I don't need three. It is just nice to have an extra one. So this says Nordic wear two set of two muffin pans and they're smaller. I mean, they're still the same size, but the pans are smaller. So it says big two do dozen at a time. These will fit side by side in a regular size oven. So that's fantastic. And this way is at $19.99. Oh man, I hope you guys cannot hear me like, I know I just did that one on purpose, but I am sniffling up a storm this time of year, always right after Christmas, 
through pretty much the entire month of January, which stinks because that's my birthday month also. My allergies are horrible. All right, next up, I picked up some more chicken. I use this mainly, I mean, sometimes I'll cook with it, but this brand or this kind, I mainly use for dog food. So I am completely out. I went ahead and picked some more up. You can see here it was $2.99 a pound, the total price. There's like six different packages. And in, in each package, there's about two chicken breasts, but it was $23.11. I went ahead and picked more of this up. I think I have one in the back of my pantry. Um, but the one in my drawer, like by my stove top is almost completely empty. So I did go ahead and pick up some more and I love this avocado oil spray. It says hundred percent pure avocado oil spray and it is by chosen foods. It's a two pack and it was $11 and 49 cents. And then I had to pick knowing this was, you know, most likely the last time going to Costco, I had to pick this up. I love this stuff. Kira got me onto it. She picks it up I think it's now she picks it up every time she goes. I'm not sure, maybe every other time, but I had to get it. It's the Organic Bake at Home Sourdough Bread. These are perfect size also for my family of six. It lasts about two different meals depending on what we're using it for. Uh, mainly I bake these up when we're having some kind of soup dish because we like to dunk the sourdough bread slathered with butter into our soup. It's super easy or super delicious. And you do bake these before eating them. And I don't know if I said yet, but it is a three pack and it was $8.99. All right, coming over here, we are, we only have like a handful of the espresso pods left. So I went ahead and picked up this big pack of Starbucks ones. It has two different of the espresso roast, one blonde espresso, one Columbia, and then two Pike Place roast in theirs. And does it tell me how many are in each of these? I want to say it's like 10 or something. Oh, right here. There's 60 total. There's six different kinds. So there's 10 of each one in there. And this was $39.99. Then of course, bananas. If I'm out and I'm at a grocery store, I'm picking the bananas up because I love bananas. Oh, I skipped over. I love bananas in that. So we'll go back to that. But I went ahead and picked up a big bunch. These will probably go bad. They were $1.49 for the entire bunch because my kids aren't eating bananas as often as they used to. And there's no way I can eat all of those, but that's okay. That's what banana bread is for or banana muffins or whatever, <laughs> banana something all sorts of things that you can make with bananas that are starting to turn. So I did go ahead and grab that and then back over here, I love this stuff. My absolute favorite is, I already forget the name of it, but I get it from Thrive Market, but this one is a close second. I love this stuff. I eat it with milk and I chop up a banana and put it in there and it's super yummy. This one is a little harder, um, not as like a soft cereal, more like a granola, but it's super yummy. So it's called Morning Summit. Is this the front of the box or the both sides look exactly the same. So morning summit made with almonds, cereal flakes, pumpkin seeds, dried cranberries, dried cherries. Almonds are the first ingredient and it says lightly sweetened with maple berry blend cereal. Super, super yummy. And it was $12.99. All right, coming down here because I knew again that this might be the last time that we go. I did go ahead and pick up the Just Bear boneless, skinless, lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. These are the closest that you can get to Chick-fil-A without actually going to Chick-fil-A and they are cheaper. So these were $15.99 and you can see here it's a 64 ounce or a four pound bag at that. Then the main reason we do go to Costco. However, we're going to switch the dogs over. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get onto Chewy right now and pick which dog food we like the best and that way I can mix them. We'll put half of the dog of the food of this food into their container and then half of the new food and that's how you slowly switch a dog over to a new brand. It's just easier on their tummies when you do it that way. So we're gonna get our dog food from Chewy, I think. Or I'll price compare because Chewy has a lot of the name brands and if they sell it at like Target, I know going to Petco or PetSmart is gonna be ridiculously expensive because that's what I was doing when we were fostering dogs. It was very expensive to get dog food. So I'm gonna do a little price comparing. I feel like Chewy's gonna be the best bet and I can set it up as like a monthly. Hey, give me a bag every single month or two bags depending on how many we're going through. I think it's gonna be like two bags. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. It's just gonna be easier and I won't get sucked into extra stuff. <laughs> <laughs> when I go to Costco and I think we're gonna stop our Sam's membership as well. We might go one more time, but anyway, 
This is the main reason we go to Costco. We love their dog food. The ingredients are great. So Kirkland Signature, Nature's Domain, Turkey Meal and Sweet Potato Formula for dogs. This is what we feed our older two dogs, Bella and Buford. And this bag was $28.99. And then when we got the two puppies, Oliver and Lily, we, well, we got, we had Oliver first. We decided to stick with the same brand because we already knew we liked it. Kirkland Signature, Nature's Domain. And this is the puppy, a chicken and pea formula for dogs. So we picked this up. This bag is only $15.99. And I cannot see, I don't want to move things around how big the bags are but this one's obviously doesn't hold as much. This one's bigger, that one's smaller, and the dogs do go through, since we have two of each, they go through about two bags a month. All right, coming over here to two other things that I love to pick up from Costco and Sam's, just because they are a little cheaper, but we'll make do, I just feel like it's gonna be easier. I mean, I know I don't owe anybody an expl explanation about why we're canceling our Costco membership, but I just feel like buying in bulk sometimes is overwhelming, putting it places, storing it, all of that, my pantry is just overwhelming. I, I'm just over it. So I would like to just pick things up as we're running out. And if I have to do that more often and have it more often in grocery hauls, then so be it instead of buying them in bulk like this. So anyway, sorry, I went off there a little bit, but I love these makeup remover wipes. This is new though. So it never had this like plant-based green thing on the box before. So I don't know if they've always been plant-based or if they did something new. I hope they didn't change anything up because these are my absolute favorite. They're the only makeup wipe that I have used. Now I have not tried every single one out there, but out of the ones that I've used, they're the only ones to, it even says here, to get off all of my mascara. And I do wear waterproof mascara and it wipes it all off. So it's fantastic. But anyway, Neutrogena, um, let's see. It says 139 count plant-based towelettes, four of the 25 count packages, one, um, this is new also, it never used to come with the Hydro Boost, so that's really cool. One of the 25 count Hydro Boost packages, and then two seven count travel size makeup, which is really weird, because are they, there's seven, oh yeah, so they used to be individual. I used to love those, because those are the ones that I would toss upstairs with the girls, but now they come in little seven count packs. So anyway, I love this stuff, works fantastic. And then something else that I am just a huge fan of, the name brand, I've tried a couple different kinds of overnight pads, and these just work the best. So always ultra thin, like I said, they're overnight. There's two bags in here of 38, uh, making a total of 76 pads that you get. And the pads were $14.49, and I'm trying to find the, oh, here they are, $18.99 for the makeup remover wipes. Okay, got some more Tylenol. Normally I don't buy it in a three pack, but I was like, you know what, whatever, we'll have it. I checked the expiration date. It's good until like 2023 and like the middle of 2023. So we actually, our kids don't get sick that often, but Bryce and Rose, Pearl's already vaccinated. Bryce and Rose just got their first vaccination shot and their arms are a little sore. This is the second day. And I went to give them a little bit of Tylenol and we were out. So I went ahead and picked some up so I can just ease their pain a little bit. Paige and I are actually getting our booster shot today. I'm not excited about it because I've heard a lot of people say that it's worse than actually getting the vaccination. So fun times, fun times in my house this week. But anyway, this is a three pack. It is the pain and fever ages two to 11, dye free. The flavor is cherry. And it was $11.99. Okay, coming over here to something that we used to pick up all the time. My husband, Mark, loves macadamia nuts, but he actually has not been eating them lately, the past few months, like the end of this year. I guess he was just over it, but I did go ahead and pick up some more because when I was cleaning out the pantry, I noticed that there were no more in there and he hasn't asked me to buy them, but I was like, you know what? He loves macadamia nuts. So I went ahead and got him a bag of the Kirkland Signature Dry Roasted Macadamia Nuts with a sea salt. This is a 24 ounce bag and it was $17.99. Oh, my nose is really, really running. Okay, I went ahead, I feel like a broken record here, but knowing it was my last time, I went through the clothing section. I don't go through those aisles all the time, but this time I was like, you know what? We're gonna do it. And I found some goodies. So I saw these sleep or soft sleep pants. This brand is really, really cool. The 32 degrees cool. 
Oh, I didn't mean to say like cool twice there, but you know what I mean? These are like super soft. I buy a lot of this stuff for the kids. I don't have anything in this brand. My husband has a few things as well and they just love the feel of them. They say they're super soft. So when I saw that they had some pants, they actually had two different like color, color combos, the black and the blue, which I have a lot of black and blue in my closet. So that's why I picked these. And then they had a gray and like a wine, burgundy maybe color. I think that's what it was. I don't think it was purple. I think it was like wine burgundy, but obviously I went for the black and the blue. And you can see here, it says sleep pant, but I'm totally gonna wear them during the day. They're more like lounge pants, okay? If I have like a t-shirt on, I feel like I, I could totally go out in public in these. We'll see once I get them on, but I did like those and they were $14.99. And then these are also the 32 degrees, but they're not the cool. It says heat on there. So these are super soft. These are like, they feel very cool. Like if you sweat in these, it's not going to stick to you and make you warm. It's going to kind of like, like you're being rained on. It's just going to fall off of you. That's what these feel like. These are very warm. And in Texas, even though I'm sweating right now and it's going on 80 degrees outside that sun is shining something fierce january and february are typically our colder months so i'm pretty sure i just checked my i checked my weather app yesterday and i'm pretty sure on monday we're supposed to have like a really cold front come in and the high is 50. so i did go ahead and get some warmer clothes for the girls bryce really doesn't care about clothes i don't pick him up that pick him up close that often unless he just says that he's out of something or he needs something but the girls they love new things and I saw these and I know that they're going to be super comfy in them so these are youth hoodie and jogger sets soft and cozy and again that 32 degrees heat these were $14.99 each as well so all the 32 degree stuff was $14.99 the two-piece stuff and hopefully this fits Pearl she's kind of like in between sizes right now but hopefully this will be all right so i got her the 10 12 in this like pink camo look because she loves camo and then this doesn't i mean it's camo but it looks kind of like tie-dye as well and rose loves tie-dye so seven eight is rose's size so i got those for the girls and then we will just continue over here i'm trying to step over bella that's our oldest dog hi bella <laughs> so excuse me real quick i picked up a shirt from mark as well this is a long sleeve shirt. He doesn't have a lot of long sleeve items in his closet. And like I said, with the weather starting to cool down, I thought he might need some. So this is just damn good supply company. And they had, it's just a pocket long sleeve tee. And they had several different colors to pick from, but he doesn't really have any of this like dark army green in his closet. So that is what I picked for him. Here it is right here. Quick dry technology to keep you comfortable. It is tagless as well. And this was $11.99. And then I got myself another long sleeve shirt also, but it is super thin. So I feel like this will be good for the fall also, not just winter, but fall, like during the winter time, I can layer up, put a tank under it, put a jacket over it, and I'll be nice and cozy. And then during the fall, I could just wear this, like no layering, no tank or anything like that. And it would still be wearable. So this is Ella Moss. And in this one, they had several colors to pick from as well. I like, it's a little bit different. So it's got a V-neck, it's like ribbed on the front and the back, but the sleeves, it is long sleeves, they're not ribbed. They're just like a regular soft cotton material in the same color. So I like that. It gives the shirt a little bit of dimension. And this was $14.99. Oh, this was on sale. I think this was the only thing on sale. So this was $3 off. So it was $11.99. All right, coming back here, this just sucked me in. <laughs> I have slowly been getting, getting rid of some of the Dollar Tree containers that I have. They're just getting really old. They don't close as well, and they're not keeping my stuff as fresh. So I went ahead and picked this up to replace some of those Dollar Tree containers, and it is a four-piece set, Pro Keepers Fresh Produce Keeper Set. It has an airflow event system that keeps produce fresh longer. It does say dishwasher safe, BPA-free, and if you guys can see here on the top, let's see if I can hold this. All of the lids have like a little checklist on here. So it has a, or not like a checklist, but it shows you what you need to keep them fresh. So it says asparagus, keep them in water, broccoli, a little bit of water and the airflow vent, Brussels sprouts. I'm not going to read them all, but it has like a list of produce, not just veggies, but fruit as well and that list is on all of the containers so there's two 
larger ones or actually I think they're four different sizes. It probably says on a different side, but I'm not going to try to move that around. I'm like straddling Bella right now. So I'm trying to share it with you guys without hurting her, but it has like a big one. You can see the lettuce in there. You can see the long carrots in this like medium size one. And then it has two small ones. You can see the strawberries in this one and then a tinier one with the blueberries. So hopefully those work. I was excited about that. And then I did pick up some sparkling water, no Cokes, no more monsters we are actually going to try and i'm going to limit myself on these as well 2022 we're going to limit ourselves on our drinks the things that we drink aren't like full of calories but they're also not the healthiest or best option either so we're going to switch things up i'm going to try to drink more like regular water during the day and maybe just put some like lemon and lime fresh lemon and lime juice in it and see how i like that but i am a huge fan of sparkling water as well so i couldn't not pick it up and we are going to try to omit sodas except for when we're having like people over and parties and stuff we'll buy like smaller cans or not smaller cans but smaller packages not buy them in bulk all the time to have them here so anyway just little few little things that we're going to change up but i couldn't go without the sparkling water <laughs> i did get the kirkland signature brand there's 35 in there and it is a combination of the lemon the lime and the grapefruit flavored water it does say calorie free, sodium free, and sweetener free. It's pretty much just flavored sparkling water. And I just forgot, see I'm not used to like saying the prices, so hold up. All right, the food storage was $24.99 and the sparkling water was $9.99. All right, now we're going to the spaghetti sauce. This is a great deal as well, but again, we're just gonna buy things when we need them and not stay like super stocked up anymore. Our pantry is nice, the size is nice, but the, the way that you can store things in there, it's kind of inconvenient when you buy things in bulk. It's just a little hard to walk through there and get things, so anyway. Went ahead and got the Rayos. We love this marinara sauce. It's super yummy and the price is good. And it's, uh, I think it's one of the better ones for you. But there's two 28 ounce jars here and it was $10.79. And then last but not least, here I am like talking about being healthier and making better decisions, but I got these for Paige. I don't think anybody else in the house is going to eat them. Maybe Mark will try them, I'm not sure. But these are the Lint Balls, which she absolutely loves, the Lindor. And she loves the flavor of matcha. We just went to an Asian market and she picked up several things that had the matcha flavor. And she just asked me to get her some matcha tea. So I saw these and I was like, man, this is a huge bag, but I didn't know if I could find them in a smaller bag anywhere else. So I went ahead and picked them up. It is the Irresistibly Smooth Matcha White Chocolate Truffle. So hopefully she likes these. I was trying to see if there was like a date on them, but there's no date on the bag that I see anywhere. But anyway, I went ahead and got that for her. It's a 22 ounce a bag of chocolate balls. So that'll definitely take her some time to get through. And it was $10.99. All right, so I don't think I forgot anything. Stepping over dogs and all that. I've got one behind me as well. That's Buford. <laughs> but anyway, there's our last Costco haul for, like I said, not just 2021, but we are not going to be renewing our membership. Okay, so now I have to put all of this away and sit down and get this video ready for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu Costco haul. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I'm still gonna share shopping hauls and all of that as we go into 2022, but Costco will no longer be a part of that. And then I think Sam's as well. We might do one more just to get that like itch scratched and out of the way, see what they have for Valentine's Day because it is more convenient to buy it when you have like multiple kids, the stuff that they take into the classes so we'll see though but if i do go to sam's one more time we'll definitely share that with you i hope you guys are having a fantastic day hit that subscribe button if you are new and i will see you in the next video